Welcome to the Dr. Renee Sunday Show, where it's not too late to shine. We bring you transformative information for small business owners, entrepreneurial insight, wisdom, and secrets to aid you to be seen, be heard, and get paid, to catapult your life to more impact, success, and freedom. Now, please welcome your host, the platform builder herself, Dr. Renee Sunday. Welcome, 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 welcome to the Dr. Renee Sunday Show. Woo! We're so excited that you're here. You know, I'm your host. I am Dr. Renee Sunday, and I am the platform builder. So you know what we do here on this platform. We want to bring you information for the awareness, you know, and education, just information for the exposure. Because if we are exposed, Exposed to a thing, we can actually make lots of decisions. That's me. I'm with it. I'm right there with you. I take notes <laughs> as well, okay? But I am, you know what I do as the host. You know, being the platform builder, I, I help you identify your purpose if you're not aware. And then we build a platform. You know what it is to be seen, be heard, and get paid. It's honorable to get paid, okay? Because guess what? If you actually have the necessities in life, you can actually help somebody else. Because it's always beyond us. And it does take the whole village, as the, as the statement says. It does, it does, it does. And we are here to give back as much as we can to help other people. And you know what? We love pouring out. For the cup will be empty. <laughs> I love it, I love it. But we want to stop a minute and say thank you for loving us and believing in us. Thank you for downloading us on iTunes and checking us out on YouTube. You all on our website. I love it. I love it. And then also with our social media. We want to thank you for believing in us. And you know what? We believe in you as well. I love it. Okay. But we don't want to delay. We have Lady D with us. Yes, it is Lady D. None other than the phenomenal herself is in the house. You know, she, 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 she. Change the atmosphere wherever she go. I mean, you know, she has her own podcast. She's going to tell you about that. I love it, the flash life on the moon. She actually can tell you about being an author. You see what I'm saying? She actually can tell you how you can be visible. Because the thing is, we have a lot of things that we're working on, ideas. We work on it, but then we don't have the visibility. But she could actually tell you how to do that. And, and I love it because she continues to empower, enrich, and encourage others to do great things until God says she, he's ready for it. See, she already, she knows what her calling is. See, we need to know ours, right? <laughs> but she mm-hmm. actually has, she's been an author of so many books. We're going to actually talk about them. But she has a story to tell, which all of us do. And we actually need to learn how to put it in writing that we can actually impact other people. You know, she actually going to be real with you. She ain't going to sugarcoat it. And I love it that she does that because we need to have the real, real, because we actually what stays in Las Vegas, you know, and all that about the South. That's why we in the situation we in a lot. So we're going to actually, yeah, she's going to tell you the real, real, and you're going to connect with her, and we're going to move on with our purpose in life, right? But we're going to welcome, welcome none other than Lady D to the Dr. Renee Sunday Show. Are you there? I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hey, love, hey, love. How are you? Everybody doing? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. We got a lot going on, y'all. But Lady D, woo! Glad to be back. Lord, she supports us with everything we do. We just love it. But tell us a little bit more about yourself and the amazing things that's going on in your life. Oh, my goodness. I don't even know where to start, but all I have to say is, first of all, thank you, Dr. Renee, for allowing me to have this opportunity. Once again, you know I love coming through and supporting, 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 because that's what I do. But, hey, world, I am the one and only Miss Lady V. I am actually um, an author. I am a life coach. I am a motivational speaker. I am a author consultant. I wear so many hats. 
I am the <laughs> I am the host and the CEO of Fast Life on the Move podcast, where we bring great shows to life and give people the opportunity to share their views and, of course, do something great and share their businesses with the world as well. And, of course, I want to help authors and people get their life on track because in 2020, my goal and my mission is to make sure that people are releasing, rebuilding, and rebranding their lives in 2020, starting over, man, taking and reclaiming your life today. That's what it's all about. And so that's my goal for 2020. That's my, that's my 2020 vision. And I hope that you guys have the vision, too. So that's who I am in a nutshell. I wear, like I said, I wear a lot of hats. So I always stay busy, but my main thing is to make sure that I'm, you know, um, changing the world, changing people's lives and supporting and just making an impact and just showing people that it's okay to be who you are and doing what you love and doing what God's purpose is for you. Wow, that's amazing. You know, I love how you said about the purpose. Uh, and we talked a little bit in the green room about this. I mean, you know, sometimes people, you know, we know what our purpose. You know, as soon as we can walk, <laughs> we know as soon as mm-hmm. we can actually, uh, 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 you know, scream out or first time we cook, we like, this is it. But tell us in, 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 in your own insight in regards of, how how to know what your purpose is and how that your journey that you say, okay, now I'm in my purpose. Tell us a little bit about that because a lot of people, you know, if it's not instant, you know, like we like instant things, things quick, they think that they don't have a purpose. So kind of help us with that so we'll realize that sometimes we got to go through some things. Oh, baby, you said a mouthful right there, honey. When I tell you, you have to literally go through so many things. I have... In order for me to find what my purpose was in this life and to find what God had for me, I tried a little bit of everything, you know. In order to find my purpose, we have to find what we love, what we're passionate about. That means that we wake up every day, and that's all we can think about wanting to do and and doing. Because a lot of times, people, you go to work every day, and you're in this nine to five, and you go to work, but you're not loving what you do. So you feel like you're in prison and you're in jail, which in reality, you may be. Because you're not living your purpose. But when you wake up every day and you do what you love to do, and don't be afraid to try new things. Don't be afraid to expand and explore because that's what this world is. That's why God gave us so much of it and so beautiful for us to explore it, to see our options, to see what we want in this life. So don't be afraid to Step outside of your comfort zone because a lot of times we get complacent. So don't be afraid to step out of your comfort zone and just find out what it is that you love to do. And don't be, don't allow nobody else to tell you, oh, that's not good. Oh, you ain't going to be no good at it. Because a lot of times we allow what other people think or what other people say to stop our journey and stop us from living our purpose. And don't allow life, man, because life is a test. We all going to be tested now, believe that. But don't allow that to stop you. Yes, it's going to get hard because when you're almost at your breakthrough, oh, you will be tested the most. Don't stop because when you stop, you got to start over. And that's where we start to fail. Keep striving. Keep going. There's a lot of days I wanted to give up and quit and be like, you know what, I ain't got time for this. But God say, wait a minute, say, hey, lady, you, (laughs) I ain't asked you to do that because I love to do this. This is my purpose. This is what he needed me to do. He needed me to make an impact and bring his people back to him and show them a different way of thinking, a different way of living their day-to-day life because we forget that God said we can live abundantly right here on this earth. I'm just saying. That's right, girl. So leave your purpose. I love it. 
Now, now I, ooh, we got it on that. That was amazing. Now, now, now tell us as we move forward in, in your amazing journey in your life, <laughs> what, being an author, you know, a lot of people say, oh, I love to write, but I can't be an author. I don't know where to start. Nobody's going to want to read my story. Tell us about your journey with that and, and how, I mean, ladies and gentlemen, she impacts the world with the people, she, her writing, then the people that she helped to get their stories out. So tell us about that because so many people think, oh, nobody's going to read my story. And you know what? It changes the world, right? <laughs> it does. It really does. We think one of two ways. Either nobody's going to read it or we're going to be billionaires off of it. <laughs> Those are the only two. We, we, don't re, we don't recall the stuff in the middle, and that's what we miss a lot of times. And for me, all I wanted to do was just to get my story out there. And I didn't have anybody to help me or to show me the ropes or the way of how to do it. So I did my research. I am self-taught in this, you know, in this industry, and I'm great at what I do because, yes, English was my forte. That's what I love to do, but English ain't writing. Believe that. It's a whole different ball game. What are you talking about writing? And so, don't worry about your story. Just worry about doing what you love to do. Get it out there. Get a great editor. You know what I'm saying? Get an editor that can see your story and allow it to blossom into what you want it to blossom into. Because that does make a big difference, is having the right editor behind you, having the right team behind you. You know, and it's hard. It it really is hard. It wasn't easy for me, but I continued to strive, and I just kept trying, and every book I got better. And I didn't worry about who was reading it. I I actually just started writing because it was therapeutic. It helped me to release the pressures and, and the depression and and the, the, the sorrows of the world that I was faced with the reality that I was faced with, that I had to live with, that a lot of times we like to just shoo shoo up under the rug, I had to release that in order for me to heal me on the inside. And that's why I started to write. And so sometimes you just have to do that. And just think of it like my story will help somebody else because trust and believe, you never know how many people your story will really help. Because there are so many traumatic people out here. They're traumatized. They're hurting. And they need help. And sometimes we as people just need to know that somebody else understand our pain, understand what we went through and what we suffer with, but how we overcome it. Because we can't keep living in the misery. So we also have to know how to overcome it. And people need your story. So don't be afraid to write it. And you're going to be great. Just have the right people behind you to guide you and show you. And, of course, if you always need some help, call Lady V. I'm your lady. I will make sure that, you know, you get it to where you want it to be because that's what you choose to do, and you're passionate about it. And that's what you have to have. You have to have passion behind your writing. Just do it because you love to. That's right. So let's dive a little deeper, if it's okay, in your actual publication. So tell us about your your publication, because ladies and gentlemen, she has some power stuff that when you open the page one, you're going to still be there at the same place till you get to the end, okay? <laughs> <laughs> yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am. So, of course, I'm um, Elliot Knight Professionals, and um I actually started um, Elliot. Well, we started, which is Jazz and I. I lost my business partner in August of 2019. So we kind of been revamping and doing things a little bit differently, but we still been striving because at the end of the day, it's all about allowing people to do what they love to do. And so um, our our goal was to make sure that we produce quality work. So we do everything in-house. We don't submit anything outside. We don't outsource our work um, from the covers to the editing 
to uh, making sure that it's uploaded on Amazon and all the uh, lay, all the outlets. We make sure that is all that's done for you. And so, but we don't produce anything on this label that you don't love. And so, of course, I have one, two, three, four, probably like six books out, seven, I don't know. I stopped losing count because <laughs> I already, just on my own, you know what I'm saying? So I think I got like six or seven books out on my own. Um, I have the Reflections of Me, um, part one and part two. So you got Living My Life Through Poetry, which is one of my first poetry books that my team actually uh dared me to write because they didn't think I could do it because I, you know, I write books. And so they was like, well, write some poetry since you're a writer, best writer. So I had to show them that I can write anything i set my mind to. And so I did. And now I have um, inspirational books. So I have Down in the Dumps Get Pumped Up, and that's actually your inspirational guide to your newfound peace. And that is the one book that I am actually promoting um, right now for people to get into their hands so that you can live a better life, so you can actually find your purpose but live your life in peace because you have to take steps. And so with that book, it's definitely about taking the proper steps to do, to, to reclaim your life. So it also talks about um, different things like facing your reality, um, rebuilding, rebrand, release, rebuilding, and rebranding because you have to release your past to rebuild your present to rebrand your future, okay? So that's what I'm teaching people here in 2020 how to do, um, which isn't always easy, and part of that is facing your reality. So. I just show I just wanted to show people how to do that and so I also have other authors on my label as well like Miss Michaela Taylor um that you might hear and see from time to time everywhere as well um Apollo the dreamer there's Miss Chanel Austin she's a new author that's coming out um and she's helping different women that's been abused with her books so everybody writes something different you know, of course, Apollo, he's our erotic author. So if you like erotica, that's that's the author to have because that's what he do. You know, Miss Michaela, she writes everything from love to erotica to her to politics. She does all of that. So, you know, we all different in our own ways. And then, of course, we have the Miracle Child Poet, which she's also a new author. Um, and she writes inspirational, godly poetry to encourage people to keep your faith. Hold on. Don't let go. So we are a rounded, a well-rounded family of writers because that's what we are at Elliot Night Professionals. We're family. So if you need some help, contact me. I'll be glad to help you get your book where it needs to be, Elliot Night Professionals. I love it. 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 I, I want to ask you this because um, – you wear a lot of hats, and I get this question a lot as well. How and I and I've gotten to the point that I don't say uh, what they say balance. I think it's just harmony because it depends on what goes on in the day. I've learned to shift as needed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so what do, what do we tell someone that has a lot of ambition? Of, you know, a lot of things have been downloaded for you to do, and, you know, you figure out when you want to do it, you get the team behind it, et cetera. I mean, how do you how do you kind of have harmony with yourself? Because you do a lot of things, and to keep it in one, not even in one piece, but keeping yourself in that self-care mode that you're taking care of yourself, one, and number two, that you're able to do what God has called you to do. So talk about that a little bit because I, I think a lot of people, especially in this season, have been blessed with that, but then you got to know how to handle and manage it and delegate well at the same time. Oh, yes. You definitely have to know that. Um, man, I cannot agree with you, especially when you wear a lot of hats and you got a lot of things on your plate and it's just not enough hours in the day. And, you know, I know a lot of women and, you know, men out here too, you know, they got kids and 
you know, other jobs, plus you're trying to balance. It's really about balance. It's about being able to say, okay, I need this day for me. I have to learn throughout my day that there's days that, and there's times that I just have to take a mental break. So I will, people don't know this, so, but uh, sometimes I actually will take a nap because I have to take a mental break. And I have to shut down because if you don't, you can become overwhelmed. Yes, you have your busy days, and then you have those days where you're not as busy. And so you have to, for me, what I like to do is I like to, on those not-so-busy days, I take well advantage of those days because I have a responsibility to myself as well as I do my people. You know, because I don't call, of course, for me, I don't call my people my clients. They're not my clients. They're my people. They're my babies. You know what I'm saying? So that's what what I like to do, you know. So I have to say, okay, Lady V, step back. Take a nap. It's okay. I have to tell myself that it's okay to take a nap. I have to tell myself that I owe it to myself to take this break. Because a lot of times we get so caught up in what we love to do because it doesn't feel like work that we forget that we are overworking ourselves. We love it. So it doesn't seem like work. But it really is. And eventually your body will shut down. Your body will tell you. And as a person with lupus, And I'm a strong believer of this. I don't allow lupus to run me or dictate my life because it could tell me every day to sit down. No, you're not going to do this. You're not going to do that. But my God tells me that I am healed in his stripes. So I'm covered. So I could do all things through Christ who strengthens me. But I also know that I have a responsibility to myself to understand don't be no fool. So I have to know how to balance that. So when I tell my team, hey, give me an hour, I don't want anything for an hour. They respect that because they understand she needs that just for her. Because I'm nothing without them, and they're nothing without me. We're together on this. And so you have to... Remember that you have a responsibility to you. Don't ever forget that. It's about balance. Sometimes you have to create those barriers. Tell yourself, it's okay for me to take an hour out of my day to rest, relax, meditate, listen to God. That's what I like to do. And I stay prayed up. That's the number one thing for me. I stay prayed up throughout my day every day. So that's what helps me, and I'm hoping it will help you too. Yeah, that's very important. Oh, that's so powerful. Ladies and gentlemen, you don't know how powerful that is. Uh, You have to do self-care is very, very, very important. I mean, uh, from the medical side now, it's actually a diagnosis out there uh, called stress uh, heart syndrome or something to that effect, Uh, that Mm. all your tests will be normal, but when they start giving your history, you're stressed out, and that's why you feel like you're having a heart attack. That's how you feel like you, your head about to explode. And really, the migraines that you have and the stomach ache you have and the, you know, all that you have is actually from stress. It, it's not, it is. you know, from, you know, from cholesterol or diabetes or something to that effect. So self-care is very important. We have to really, truly, I have to do that for myself as well. Cause, mm-hmm. um, I was pushing, pushing, and, you know, they, they take my blood pressure one day. I'm like, ooh, okay. I'm, you know, I'm taking care of people, patients, and, you know, people, and, and I'm like this. So uh, and you have to make sure it hits home. <laughs> Man, in order for you it to will hit to you. Mm-hmm. Right. It will tell your body, hey, hey, shut down, sit down, sit down somewhere now. And people don't understand that stress is the number one killer, and we don't think that oh, I'm not stressed, but you are stressed when you're running, 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 trying to do this, trying to get this done, trying to meet this deadline, trying to get this, trying to make the kids, make dinner, make this, make that, make this. And you're there for everybody, and you don't even understand that you're stressing yourself thin, which means you're stressing yourself out, which is playing a big part on your health. 
And you ain't good for anybody if you ain't there. Oh, Lord, yes, yes. Oh, Lord, yes, yes. yes. Well, Lady V, you all over this. <laughs> well, let me ask you this because, you know, time goes by so quickly here. Uh, tell us, you know, anything else you want to share with our audience, and, and please, you know, take a big breath after that. <laughs> and tell us how we, can, how we can contact you because, you know, some of the listeners, Want to listen, you know, of course, they want to listen to your podcast. They may actually be, you know, a, you know, can be on your podcast if they are fit. And then, of course, your products and services and your wonderful, amazing, ooh, amazing publications, ladies and gentlemen. So hold on, hold your seat. She's going she gonna to tell you how to contact her as well. Yes. Well, first of all, I just have to say thank you again for this opportunity for sure. But I want to make sure that everybody understands that no matter what you are going through, just take a breath, enjoy life, and know that God will see you through no matter what you go through. That's what I want you guys to always remember and hold on to it and live your best life because you can, okay? So if you would like to contact me or be on my podcast as well, um, I believe who my schedule books are so fast, but actually I'm if I am not mistaken, I'm actually already into twenty twenty one. And so <laughs> yeah. but you can still go over and book as well if you would like to get have an interview with me. I book um I actually do my interviews on Thursday evenings. Uh, from 10 p.m. to midnight, so you actually get the whole two hours as well. And we just sit down and talk about your business and how you do it and what you do and how you love to do it, okay? So you can definitely uh, reach me at Fast Life on the Move on Blog Talk, You can, which you can always tune in there, which is www.blogtalkradio.com slash Fast Life on the Move. Um, you can also uh, contact me on Facebook, on Fast Life on the Move, or on Instagram, on Fast Life on the Move for that. Um, you can also find me at Elliot Knight Professionals, which is www.elliotknightprofessionals.com, and that's Elliot with two E, but two L's, two P's, and Knight is spelled just like nighttime, okay? And that's professionals.com uh, or E. NP. You can also Google that as well. It'll pull it up for you as well if that makes it easier for you. And you can find actually all of our services on there from our authors. So if you want my books or any of the authors on there, you can check out the different authors that we have on there as well. Um, if you are looking for a life coach and you are ready to rebuild, rebrand, and, you know, release, please make sure that you you know, you get on my calendar and you get on my schedule so the um, fees and the prices and everything is right there and what you will receive and what you will get through our services as well. If you need any type of advertising or any type of different services, it's also on the website as well. I'm also right now doing a um, – making another website. My PA is my team is man, they they're they're hooking they hooking your girl up right now. So they in the background working um so wonderfully right now, doing so many major things. So you will definitely be seeing me everywhere, um and doing great things. So please make sure you go get your books. Man, down in the dumps, get pumped up. I can't that's your inspirational guide to your newfound peace. I cannot stress that enough. Or of course any other book that you may want from me, you can find me on Amazon or of course www.elliotnightprofessionals.com. So and of course you already know, you never know. I might be in your city anywhere sometime because I move a lot. I move around a lot. So always be looking for that too. So <laughs> That's who I am. And I make sure you guys God. always stay empowered and rich and encouraged to do great things for sure. Amen. You're just amazing. Lady V, woo, first of all, we want to say thank you for being in your purpose. And also we want to thank you again for always being supportive of us and being a guest here on the Dr. Renee Sunday show. If you need us for anything, please, please don't hesitate to contact us. 
Oh, for sure. I love you guys' the show. I love you guys for sure. Dr. Renee, you always know, hey, I'm one of your biggest supporters and your fans and everything. I love you, baby. You just keep shining and keep paving the way for so many women like myself and for so many other great women that's trying to walk in our footsteps as well. So you just keep shining bright like a diamond, honey, and do what you with living your purpose the way God has called for you. So thank you again for the platform. Oh, wow. You're amazing. I love that. Thank you. God bless you. <laughs> Woo, you ladies and gentlemen, she, she got motivation, isn't it? She going to make you feel good. I I love her, but she, she's serious about her business. So the things she shared, she she, she going to make it happen, and then she's going to get you out there, right, so you can actually, yes, uh, you know, get the exposure that you need. So, so please, please, if you didn't get the information, of course, we have that, and we'll refer you over but this is a powerful, powerful, powerful young lady. Um, we'll have the replay up very shortly so you can go back. Cause she said a lot of stuff that we actually need to not just listen, but we need to actually apply it to our life. Uh, you know, woo, because mental health is real. So you know I'm in the medical field. Uh, if you, you know, it's okay to go to counseling. It's okay. If you need help finding someone, uh, contact us and we can help you find someone in your area because we have the database for all over, pretty much all over the world. You can find someone to help you, okay? So it's okay. Like, so don't don't be in this all by yourself. Please don't. It does take the whole village, okay? And it won't be on mm-hmm. social media. I'm not putting your business out there. But if you want to actually be a guest on our podcast or if you want to start another podcast, you want to start a podcast, uh, if you want to launch a magazine or a TV show, get in contact with us. We also do publishing as well. Uh, you know, business strategies, nonprofit strategies. Our website is reneesunday.com. That's R E N E E Sunday, S U N D A Y.com. We always want you to remember that you do have a calling, you do have a reason that you were born. You're not a mistake. No matter what you're thinking, no matter what you keep telling yourself, no matter what somebody else has told you or saying to you, you're not a mistake. We all have to do three things. We have to believe, we have to trust, and we have to walk it out. You know the rest. We have to don't stop. What? Get it, get it. And what are we getting? We're getting our purpose, and we're getting our purpose now. Thank you so much. We love you, love you, love you here at the Dr. Renee Sunday Show.